Y'all turn it all on. Oh, this is not doing well. Let me just turn it on. Turn it on. Turn this over. So this one is around. Go here. Baby, I love you. I don't know. Let's see, are we are we starting here? Oh, we already are live. Nobody told me. I did. That's nobody what I'm starting nobody right said now. nothing. Said Welcome guys right to Cooking with Greens. We're doing a nice little light dinner. Mom and already went to bed on us, y'all, at six o'clock. She said good night. So that ate, I'm done. I took my shower. She, good night. She already went to bed. She just watched Equalizer 3 on Netflix and she just went to bed. So mm -hmm. we're gonna get started. Very simple. We got some nice size. Um, scallops the other day we were out um, and we're going to do uh, some crispy rice and some scallops. Crispy rice usually traditionally is done with leftover sticky rice or sushi rice. We had leftover long grain white rice. No, it was jasmine. But it was still white rice. Yeah. Long grain white rice. And we're going to make it work with that. That's all. So let's get started so I can explain how everything goes. And uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you for sharing. Uh, sharing is caring. Uh, we're going to get started with our theme music. We are going to do our cleansing breath and we're going to do our thought for the day. So let's get going. Let's get dangerous. I went back. I went back. Cleansing um, breath. I was on that just last night. I have no idea. Our cleansing breath. We're going to count to three. We're going to inhale some cleansing breath through the nose. We're going to hold it for a second. And then we're going to release it. All right? Let's do that collectively together, guys. I know you're sitting there doing that. Here we go on three. One, two, three. Let's inhale. Let's hold it. And let's let all of it go. The air, the feelings, the negativity. Let's shake it off. Let's... Just loosen up, all right? Okay. Loosen up. You've been stressed all day, all right? So now that we have gotten that done, we've got our headspace a little bit clearer, we are going to check out what the Pastor G. Frigidaire has to say. If he has anything that may help you all, we will find out in a second. So let's go take a quick little walk over to the fridge so we can see what is going on in the land of the pastor. Okay. And the word is very simple. It says, if you can't find a good person, you be one. All right, let me say that again. It's pretty straightforward. If you can't find a good person, then you, 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 be, the you be the good person, all right? If ain't nobody around you good, you be. That's how we start. We start with one person, all right? You feel that in your spirit because sometimes you feel like, you know, ain't nobody around. Nobody's looking out for people. But you just be that person and don't worry about nobody else, all right? Exactly. If you feel it in your spirit, go on and say amen, 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 amen. amen. all right? Cool, cool, cool. Let's get started, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and do, you know us by now, we like, uh, when we do um, some agent-inspired stuff, we like a little quick pickle. Usually pick. I still have the last one. You still have the last pick, quick pickle? I, I can use some of the I can use no, some of the stuff in there. 
if you if we want to. But uh, I'm gonna make a new one too. If you want, if you want, you can have it. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these bad boys off, and we're gonna go ahead and pickle these really quickly. We're gonna have these. They going bye bye, babe. Probably long long time ago. Probably should have been thrown away a thousand years ago. Let's give a little rinse off here. This is a very simple meal. Um, again, it's just Anita and I. A little elegant. Another great idea for um, those love that day. are trying for to find... Day. For love day. I've almost thought of the V word. I know. For love what, day. What's wrong with him? I don't know. Latisse is starting stuff, geez. right? <laughs> we go going to get this stuff. I can put a love day. I don't day. need that many. You, said, you just said you had some more. You know you're going to eat some later. I mean, we're going to see. We'll, 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 we'll see. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll just start getting it together. And uh, we'll go from there. Do we have red onion? Oh, um, no, I don't think so. We're going to add some sugar here, guys. About a nice amount of sugar. About close to three quarters of a cup. We're going to add that in there. We're going to add about two mm, to three quarters of a cup. About two teaspoons or so. Um, uh, yeah, about two teaspoons of salt. And we're using our pink Himalayan sea salt here. Or probably a little bit more than that. Who gonna stop? Who gonna stop me? So we got that going in there. We're gonna add. Uh, oh, I think that's why the bag broke in here. We're gonna add some crushed red pepper flakes. You want this? I mean, if you want, if you want, it's up to you. That's a. That's a. a, a yeah. All right, and then to that, our liquid is going to be about, oh, I'm holding it down, about a cup of vinegar, about a cup of vinegar. We're going to whisk all this together. This is going to be our pickle ling liquid. We're going to add any other uh, spices or things you want to do in there, herbs, maybe some chives, whatever you want to do. Oops. And I'm going to give this a nice little whisk. Yeah, it drops up. Hey y'all, what's on the menu tonight? Scallops. Mm-hmm. See, see scallops. Crispy rice. And there's a spa party going on. Very simple recipe today. <clears throat> Whisk that again when that dissolves a bit, but I want to go ahead and start getting some of our. Our cute cleaned up here. Okay. I cooked split pea and ham soup with biscuits. Okay, Joyce. Received my seasons yesterday. Thanks for the free shipping. You are welcome, Glenda. Thank you for buying, too. No setbacks, only setups. That's of right. Course. That's so the new model of the year. Look, I don't care what happened to you guys. If it looks negative, it may be a setup. Sometimes things happen to stop you from doing things that you think you're supposed to be doing because there's something greater on the way. So remember that. Yeah, this right. year, we're only accepting setups, no setbacks. If it looks like it's a setback, guess what? It was a setup. It might be a setup for the end of the year. You might not okay. see any positivity from that setback. Like, oh my God, I was trying to move. Now I'm going to stay here for the... That might be a setup. Gloria, thank you, 200 stars. And whoever else's stars, thank you. Betty, thank you, 400 stars. But I'll go back cleaning up a mess I made. I miss who sent stars. I do apologize. Hey, hey, family, hey. We're just getting these bad boys cut up here. And, and you can pickle anything. We, we pickle probably every vegetable in the world that you can possibly <laughs> pickle from... Celery to cucumbers to tomatoes to um, carrots to onions. Uh. Karen, thank you for 200 stars. I mean, that's the mom's new thing is glazed carrots. She loves glazed I carrots. Could, I mean, we could do more. Or I'll just do a little bit. I can always keep the picture. Gloria said, Hello, Jacqueline. I'm Mama Green. I ordered my season and I think I should get them tomorrow. Absolutely. Right. Anyone actually hey, that ordered during our sale, just so you know, 
we got everything out today. We got every we got all of those orders out today. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we got all of those orders out today. I had to make sure I wasn't lying. I was like, wait a minute. Am I yeah, yeah. Am I telling the truth? Let me see what I have an Italian sausage with bell peppers and onions. Mm, okay. Peppers, I like it. Sausage, peppers, and onions is a classic right there. It is that. Sausage, peppers, and onions. I like that. Let me take down this hamburger because tomorrow we're going to have a traditional meal. We're talking about maybe doing sliders, guys. Just, oh, I guess I got to wait till you pull that out. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. I don't want to move it yet. And Derek found some pork belly. I did. I'm gonna, I might do something with that tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow. Day after. No, oh, oh, you already had plans? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had baked salmon, sweet potato, and then lemon bell pepper seasoning. It was a bomb on my fish. All right, oh, Janice. Thank you. Margaret said I had a grilled ham and cheese sandwich and grapes. What a combination. Okay. Look. You eat like mom green. Yes, it is. Mom green eat whatever she feel like eating. She like, that's what I felt like eating. Mom Green's good. She actually went out today. She went and drove herself around, went to the flea markets. You know, that's her jam. Thrift store. The thrift store. It's I would a difference. Tell, I would say the flea market. It's a difference. What's the difference between the flea market and the thrift It's just different. No, but what? <laughs> I didn't even know because I'm going to keep on saying it if I don't know. Just like I don't know the difference between the Dollar Tree and the, and the Family Dollar. You also don't know the difference between waiting in the fridge or because you forever <laughs> mixing them up. True. True. Sherry said we had cabbage rolls. I haven't had cabbage rolls in a minute. We did them had spaghetti. Pam had chicken, cabbage, stir fry. Okay, chicken and cabbage. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, she's feeling better, y'all. She's doing a lot better now. Renee said having a pasta bake with ground turkey, red and orange pepper, spinach, pickled cucumbers, carrots. My husband had sex. Okay, he's a smart man, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these for like some kind of plating. About okay, fancy smashing. I was like, no, nah, I was just thinking about it. I was like, hmm, you know what? What am I going? Um, you know, sometimes you think ahead and be like, well, how am I going to plate this 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 meal? Just said had steak with onions, peppers, and corn on the cob. Did you do the corn like we did? I'm gonna do a couple of these. This will be plenty. Yeah. Let's get a little bit Nothing of ice and a little bit of corn. Oh, you had what now? Y'all talking. Uh, so you had steak. I'm not, I'm having air because I'm not cooking. Okay, victory. <laughs> ah. Leftover collars, rice, black eyed peas, I think, and salmon. Okay, normal. Let's right, see what y'all eating up in here. You want a BLT for dinner? Go on and make any quinoa. It's your world. Exactly. It's your world. You can eat whatever you want to eat. You have a cereal, Dawn? It's been a minute since I had cereal for dinner, but we've had those mm -hmm. nights too. Country much of you. And my kids this morning like, Ma, I just want some cereal. I'm like, you know what? You have them. You can have it. You go right You can in have it. whatever you like. Was, I made homemade. From scratch, Swedish meatballs with egg noodles. Ooh, okay. I love it. I love it. I haven't made um, new, uh, uh, meatballs in a while. I nope. love making meatballs. Don't say it, Latisse. You have BLT for dinner, Glenda? You have a lasagna? You, oh, y'all, y'all. Okay, turkey, burgers, and chips. Baked potatoes without any meat. Vegetable soup and ground turkey. <laughs> Everybody's eating. Yeah, like, Everybody's eating. Everybody's it's, eating. Going, it's going fast. Too many, too many people eating. It's a whole lot of food. Well, you know, people eat every day. But at least they're not having like 10,000 things like we talked about. Oh, really? <laughs> Look, eat more often if you think you're going to be that hungry. It'll help your metabolism, I promise you. Ness is only four something in Arizona. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Don't usually eat until seven. I'm snacking on some Cheetos. How long you stay up, though? Pork chops, mac and cheese, cornbread, corn. No, collard greens and Anita's cornbread. Okay, let Okay, Lakeisha. okay. okay. Mary's having chicken and dumplings. Ooh, I want some. Yeah. I want some. I love chicken and dumplings. They love you, Ray. said chicken and dumplings here. All right, I'm going to stick this in the fridge, too, guys. chicken and cabbage. Huh? Mm -hmm. Good to see the green team can cook. 
Y'all cooking, cooking. All right, now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and pull my rice out. So, earlier, about three hours ago, did you get rid of that little container thing? What container? Yeah, no, I did. Okay. I was going to zip it up. Hey, Daryl, Daryl, say hey, green team. Yeah, Glad what up, you're man? here with us. Don't forget to share. Exactly. Don't forget to share. So, about three hours Hi, ago. Hi, Marley from the Philippines. We had leftover rice, guys, from when we fed the less fortunate. That's how long it was in a bag in the fridge. Yeah. So instead of making new sticky rice, which, you know, I do often and I love, I love it. Um, I just took that rice that was very starchy because um, we made so much in a big big pot. I took that and I mixed a little mirin, a little rice wine, a little, little bit of sugar in there. Um, I should have hit it with a pinch of salt, but it'll be all right. And I... Put it in a freezer, um, in a pan. Let me pull that out real quick so you can see what's going on here. So, so I know. Jimmy said somebody from the green team need to share a plate. All these bills have been cooked in here. <laughs> so I took some um, rice and put it in the freezer just so I can um, get it shaped nice and be able to cut it up. Okay. Stuck it in the pan. Put some. Plastic wrap, and now we have this. All right. So I'm gonna take a little. I think I'm gonna take a little rice shaper like so. I'll take a slaw doll rudder and you make it. Send me one. And I'm trying to, to find a recipe for rice. the potatoes that Derek made last weekend with your granddaughter. What potatoes? Which potatoes were they? Potatoes that I made. Hmm. I don't know which one it was, but all recipes are on our website. Yeah, mostly all of our recipes are on our website, okay? Mom, is that hard? Ah, look, I just broke this thing. <gasps> yeah, it's got a lot of cheese. You broke my little cheese board. It's like a lot of cheese boards now. Wow. It's a lot of cheese boards. Thank you. Now you got more than one cheese board. I don't want that. <laughs> What the heck I'm gonna do with that? Yeah, That's now lumber. <laughs> <laughs> you got more than one cheese board now. You're about to break some more. I was just the end was really, really hard in the end. I think that's probably enough for us. Whoever had a birthday, happy birthday. I'm busy fussing at Jerry. Uh happy birthday. Let's make a couple of squares. Mom's like, y'all okay? Y'all okay out here? Banging. Yo, can you get in the car after me? Yeah, we can get in the car. You're welcome, Mom. Yes, happy birthday to all the, hmm, to all the January babies. It is January. How do you break that thing? How do I? <laughs> Put that thing in the trash. It's That's like a cordy like and um. Uh huh. Little cheese ball, cheese board. Whatever. All right, just move this over. Yeah. Oh, the confit potatoes. The confit potatoes. Very simple. The recipe is on our website. I can. Explain it's it frozen you. rice at the moment, y'all. It's frozen rice, guys. So I just um treated it like it was sticky rice or sushi rice. Um, I just took it and um, mixed it with a little bit of mirin, a little sugar, a pinch of salt, and a little bit of uh, rice wine. Mixed it up, flattened it down, froze it. We're ready to make it do what it do. This is something I've never had. And it won't be the first time. We're going to start getting this together. We're going to get us up together. Strength, Edwina. Ooh, 
just remember the happy memories. Margarita and scallops and fried rice. So great to see you all, guys. Crispy rice. And we're going with crispy rice. That's all we're going to do. Very simple recipe today. Super simple. A little bit elegant for those that might want to do something again, special for their boo boo thanks thing. On what kind of day is it? Today? Love day. On love day. On we got the love, love day. day. Promise is something for everyone. The love day. I know I got a little break kind of thing I can put them on after they fry. Oh, uh, what? A little. Soon you'll be making another one. What are you looking for now? Well, I wasn't looking for this, but I'll use this. I'm going to start frying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm, sure. You get my drift? No, but I'm not. That's my drift, babe. Just wanted to make it higher. Turn it the other way. 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 Turn it like this. No. Okay, you tell me. You help me out. Let me go. Thank you, Jim. All right, guys. So, not doing anything special to the rice. We're just gonna get it in the pan. You gonna pop a slider? You might be what? You need a little apron. Hopefully, this this rice stays together because it is not sticky rice. Again, I'm being uh, creative and using the uh, rice that I have on hand. You might want to use a metal spatula here under it, though. Hey, y'all. Thanks for coming back for dinner. Thanks for making something new. Come into the new mix. She made shrimp, chicken, and sausage gumbo over rice. Shrimp, chicken, and sausage gumbo over rice. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know if I have another one here. Yeah, you do. I might be in there. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I'm going to be in there. On top. You on top shelf in there? The top shelf? Yeah, in the dishwasher. Don't forget. The love bone. I not use one with all the holes in it. No, you do not. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here. I got some of that. A little egg on that. Try to see if I can deep fry it. 
One of them is, is trying to trying to be my friend. See, this one's coming apart. We don't have the wooden utensils in as of yet. We're still waiting on them. We're waiting on the delivery of those. So if you ordered that, they are not here yet. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're coming. They don't they're here yet. That pan is for sale, Danette. Matter of fact, they sent me a nice little uh, thing, uh, finally answering, because it's after the first of the year, my manufacturer, and I'm like, oh, uh, what's the update? You told me that they arrived on the 15th to, you know, U.S. ports. And they were like, oh, wow, you don't have them yet? Let me check. So tonight I'm supposed to be finding out what's taking so long. And, it, and But then they checked, oh, yeah, they did check back and said, um, they found out that they said that because of Christmas and the rush, um, customs just slow way down, but they're gonna see if they can get them to expedite it and get them um, on the way to us by tomorrow. So I'm gonna find out tonight, which is the morning for uh, overseas, if they got any uh, leeway on that. So hopefully we'll see you guys watch and the freaking um, utensils. yeah the utensils within the next couple of days. He didn't let me say freaking now. He didn't let me freaking utensils. Yeah. Alright, let me show you guys our scallops that we got. Ooh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my god, they're beautiful. See them sea, sea scallops, man? Thing you want to do is what we did here is get them as close to room temperature as you can um, before you sear them. Also get them as dry as possible, okay? You sure you want to put that rice on that um, thing now? What? So I'm sure, not sure I want to do it. Yeah. Put the rice up there? No, I'm not sure I'm not going to do that. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I want to put them on a plate. Yeah, I'm not sure. Nope, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Because uh, Carlos and those are the biggest scallops I have ever seen. Look, James said, some, wow. You can get some colossal stock size uh, scallops. So they had them in, a, in little... Um, you know, to go kind of plastic okay. containers and about four in there and they were about thirteen, fourteen dollars each. So they're they're expensive. Even the, the big ones are usually like thirty some dollars a pound. You see said push your scallops down to get all the moisture out. Push them down. I usually don't push them down, but Chase said I have yet to try scallops or try to order them at a seafood restaurant. But the waitress talked me out of it because she did she didn't like them. Oh wow. Well her taste wasn't got nothing to do with yours. Not a thing. Not a thing. Don't you let nobody talk you out of what you no, want? I'm so Them middle class sea scallops. Middle class? That's what Josh said. Josh makes me make stuff up though. Gotta watch it with Josh. Carlos and scallops are the best. Scallops are very, very, very good. How many did you get? At the, we got six of them. Did we get six? Uh, was it three and three or four and four? Oh, look at oh yeah, three and three. We got Thank six. You. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm easily influenced by the waitress. I always feel like they are the experts on the menu. Like they know Not if they don't eat everything on the menu. I always ask them. I do ask them a lot. I'm like, well, what's your favorite thing? I do ask them a lot. Like, what are you? What are what you, you like? That's what you say. That's what I would ask them. All right. So, you know our pan is hot. So, I'm not even worried about these, I'm gonna wipe them off a little bit because I don't like a lot of oil to start with. I like for the uh, scallops to get a bit of contact in the pan. So what you need is a hot pan. That's the first thing you need, and you need a dry scallop. So we're gonna turn them on again. Too. Let me start getting these together. Hot pan. I'm gonna start getting these scallops down. I'm from Texas. I'm from Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia. Now. Yeah, I usually get a teeny bit 
bread and butter. Janice, Janine said, Scallops don't have that much of a taste to her. Um, hmm. Are, are you talking about sea or bay scallops? Because I might have to disagree with you. Might have to disagree with you. Bay scallops and sea scallops are, they shouldn't even both be called scallops because it's a whole different thing. Whole different thing. Yeah, maybe. Spend a little money, get some good sea scallops. Don't go crazy on anything but the scallops and a little bit, perhaps, of some sea salt. You don't really need to do too much of anything else to scallops. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he's going to pour stuff down the sink, y'all. Oh, that's what we do. They're going to get poured down the sink. It ain't mine. In my sink. In my, in my, in my sink. So I have decided not to fight that battle. It ain't worth my time. Neither is smart. She is kind. She is good. not worth it no more, y'all. So this is going to be nice. Nice, like something that you do need a dessert for this man. You know what I'm <laughs> Shannon said the people I met in North Fork were so nice. She she felt like in North, North Fork. Fork. That's wrong with you. Good morning. How are you, loved ones? It's North Fork. It's N O R F O L K. It's not two words, it's one. We spell we we pronounce it N A W F U K. <laughs> North Fork. That's pretty much how we 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 uh we pronounce it. So the key is to not touch them until they get a nice little sear on them, and you can turn them over. And another thing you don't want to do is have leftover scallops. No, and you want to eat them right away. And they um, don't reheat too well. And you can have them raw. So you don't have to worry about, oh my God, I wonder if they're done yet. It's one of those things where you can just make them and they're fine. There was one in Jersey. He's a Jersey boy. No. The other thing is they will release liquid after you cook them. It's fine, absolutely fine. I'm about to take these off because they're done now. I put Old Bay on mine. Okay. All you right. can, you can. It's not the really classic way to do it, but you can do that. It's it's your, look, it's your really kitchen. Who's going to stop it? They said they look delicious. That's how you pretty much get How do we go to school together? Because they moved from Jersey to what, Florida? To Virginia. Absolutely. I was always in Virginia. Mm hmm. So we met in school. I'm trying to find out what happened with us. How in the world y'all know what y'all met? Y'all pen pals or something? <laughs> <laughs> what was y'all pen pals? Absolutely. This family moved around a lot. Not a lot. Well, more than y'all. More than me. More than y'all. Sound like we was on the run. <laughs> yeah. Come on, that's the other. Okay, so we about ready. Let me start getting my plating started. Since this thing is looking like it's uh, mostly almost, mostly almost done. I didn't know it was gonna be this bad, but. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. But you have to do it. He said, "I'm gonna have to." This little Jersey boy in North Virginia walking into my junior high. She was like, Ooh, he gonna be mine. He is not telling the truth. This is why I can't have stories like this with Derek because he embellished them too much, so y'all never know what to believe. Okay, tell me, tell me this. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm just asking for real. You can tell me I'm telling, I'm telling uh -huh. the truth. Okay. 
So you used to wear a little um a little shorts when I went in there. Um what you like? Mm, like way the after the fact. Oh, don't try to don't try to no. First of all, first of all, Your Honor, were we or were we not an item at the time? Wait, uh, hello, Green Family. I have a question about the season. Okay. Do you have the dry season veggie plate? We do have a um, herb blend that uses a lot of vegetables in it, if that's what you're talking about. Um, we don't sell individual um, ingredients. So a lot of that stuff I like to call ingredients because people are like, uh, can I get um, black pepper from you? Can I buy uh, garlic? We um, have our own spice blend mixes. So one of the, what you, what you, you sound like you're asking about is if any of our blends have stuff like Garlic, onion, thyme, parsley, basil, rosemary, marjoram, white pepper, celery, cayenne, paprika, poppy seeds, um, chives, orange peel, coriander, lemon peel. Hold on, there's, there's so much things I'm going to burn my 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 scallops if I don't turn them. Back to you. <laughs> lemon peel, uh, cumin, oregano, savory, vegetable flakes. Turn this off. Um, bell peppers, carrots, celery, uh, potato, peas, um, green beans, tomato, parsley, bell pepper. That, that's what this has in there. So no, vegetable. So it's got a lot. Of, we we put we make sure we put a lot of good stuff in our blends. So they said, what's he doing? Keep doing that rice. On that rice, I hit it off with a teeny bit of pinch of salt, uh, some sugar, and a little bit of mirin, which is a um, a uh, Asian vinegar, like a marinating vinegar. It's a little a little bit of sweetness to it, and a little rice hey, rice rice um, vinegar. Yeah, Mama Green's doing good, y'all. She's fine. She actually went out today. Went to her thrift stores. She couldn't get back home. She had to park her car. Yeah, there was an street. accident. It was a really bad accident out in front of our complex. So her, she walked home, like maybe a half a block. Yeah. A block maybe, a city block away. And so she wants us to go get her car. So we have to go get her car tonight because she said, I want my car out there all night. So now that I got these bad boys together. And yes, they are not leftover food. Scallops are not leftover food. I just want to let you know. Again, not leftover food. Tyron said, fam, can you guys do a mixed veggie dish with some kind of Asian flavor, flavor profile? I like that. I like that. Yeah. We, yes. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. All right. Let's get this out of the way. The kind you can sprinkle on some plain noodles, veggie flakes. Oh, she's saying, oh, she's asking us, can we create a new blend that has that? Pico de Gallo is kind of like that. Pico de Gallo is like a lot like Pico de Gallo. Oh, true. <laughs> it's like salsa. Yeah. I'm trying to do a vegetarian lifestyle. I lost, I think, 15 pounds. Okay, You girl. did good, girl. That's awesome sauce. Do you have any seasons on sale? No salt, no sodium season. Yes, Angela, we just had a great sale on. Mm -hmm. They're just but, listed, but they're still at a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. You can buy any of our blends at a very reasonable price when you buy them as a package deal. So y'all said what kind of fish will go with that crispy rice? What kind of fish will go in there? Instead of scallops. You know, like I would probably do um, tuna, like uh, chop up some tuna, or get salmon. some get some Korean uh, mayo. I, I said tuna, but I meant, I, you can do tuna too, but I meant salmon. Um, a little bit of sriracha, Darrow, um, hit it up with a little spices, a little sesame oil, and do like a spicy, a spicy tuna. That's probably what I would do with it. Yeah, Mama Green still drives. Almost like a sushi kind of thing. You know what I'm saying, Daryl? Is that Daryl? Mm-hmm. Okay. But you said cod too. Cod would be saying. good. Any any light white any light fish. Mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't 
fast enough. Kind of, eh? I only got like two um restaurant tours today. <laughs> Me and you. Hey, we need to get you some scallops, girl. We need to try them. They're good. I'm telling you, this little vinegar and sweetness and a little Thank bit of acidity Josh. is going to be in these cukes. Tyler said, can you taste one of those for me? Oh, for you? <sighs> of course, dude. Of course. He used the English cucumbers this time. Cute. What are those? What are, are them? <laughs> she said, what are those? Um, pickle, Quick pickle cucumbers. I made them hotter because I know it's just me and Nita going to have it. So they're hot. They're sweet. They're acidic, a little salty. Good stuff. All right, let's get my. I feel like a little hoisin or oyster sauce would be good. Ooh. Thank you guys for sharing. Mm hmm. So thank you guys oh. for sharing. Let's see. Let's, let's do a little oyster sauce. I'll probably have to heat it up a bit. Put it in a little square bottle. Give me a second, y'all. I thought I was ready, but I wasn't ready because I'm thinking I'm thinking more things now. If you uh, warm it up, it's small square bottles over there. Yeah, that's what I'm warm that's what I'm something do. else. I always warm it up in the bottle. I think it's over. Okay. Oh, well, that's what you can't do. Let's warm it up. What do you say? That's pretty. It looks good. Yeah. We're getting there, y'all. finish. Looks amazing, says Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. When you go to Costco or Restaurant Depot, do you ever see any mackerel steaks? Mackerel steaks. Mackerel. I don't I know. I never looked. No, I don't remember seeing any. I've, I've seen cod and other fish, but never mackerel. I'll let that cool for a second now. That bad was popping. Yeah. I let it cool for a second before I put them in this thing. Give me time to do this one. The International Asian Market should have some. Oh, yeah. The International Absolutely. Asian Market. We have one out here that's right down the street from us. Yep. Literally. It's we around bought, the corner. What did we buy from there was unusual? Mm. I think it was shark. Was it shark? I, think I know you got, got frog legs from there one time. Yeah, I did. And I think you got goat. Yeah. What else? It was something else. Mm -hmm. I can't recall. I know you can get octopus, scallops. You can get pretty stuff. much anything that the international um, community cooks with. These are the big scallops too, George. She said, I love scallops, the big ones. These are the big ones, boo boo. That's one you got. We got away. a little heat. We got a little oh, vinegar. Oh my God, it's going to be so good. Gonna be so good. Gonna be so good. I see in the market and they have peas, carrots, onions, celery, peppers, and they are small, dry flakes, like in a cup of soup. Noodles. Oh yeah, they got a lot of noodles. What I'm, uh, I, 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 we gotta figure out a way to start taking pictures. I wonder if I pause it. Can I take a picture? You can pause, pause the it live. And go away. You sure? Yeah. You can use your mom's phone. Lord. <laughs> Ain't no wrong with your mom's phone. Lord. You mean the Android 001? No, you're not talking. Her phone is newer than ours. No, I don't know about all that. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a low end, but it's, it is newer than ours. Probably yeah. Ours. All right, let's hurry up because I got stuff to do. I got food to be eating. We do not have that, but I use our blends to flavor my ramen. Yeah, because like the umami is really good in, in ramen. And college kids told me that. Oh, yeah, they think I remember we was vending, right? Mm -hmm. It looks good, but I can't eat seafood because I have an allergy to seafood. Oh, sorry to hear that, Josette. Man, I'm going to eat it for you, whoever that is. Who was that? Josette. Josette, I got you. Josette, Don't worry there's about something it. for you guys to cook sometime a seafood boil. It don't have to be fancy. We well, trying to be fancy. What? It's sometimes the what? What did you? I didn't see. There's something for you guys to cook sometimes. Oh. Is he saying Derek? I need to have a husband like Derek, my Ooh, husband. Shoot. What happened? I, I was oh, tapping, tapping it. I tapped, I tapped it out. 
Camp out. My husband was so polite and could always cook. We were married for 38 years. He passed away in 2014. You should be blessed. I mean, you are really blessed. Missed him. Oh, I am blessed to have a husband like, like this. Lobsters and scallops are two of my favorite seafoods. All right, Sarita. I'm glad my husband decided he likes to cook. That's what I'm happy about. Because I used to cook oh, every my day. Goodness. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. I said, come on here. <laughs> oh, Lord, none of that Putin. Just right, enough. Just made it. Just, just made it. Just made it, baby. Ooh. Hey, Margaret. You looking for sesame seeds? Mm -hmm. Sesame seeds and black sesame seeds. I don't want any. Oh, no. They get stuck in my teeth. I hate it. Oh, oh you big nice now. I'll take the bad one. I'll take the no. bad kick. No, I'll take it. I no, like no, the bad. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get the bad. You sure? Yes. Okay. I can take a picture, man. All right, let's get our. I was gonna put one on here, but guess what? You wanna do two? Mm -hmm. Good night. Thank you for coming through. I'm sure Sabrina got to get ready to go on IG. Okay. It shows where you can find how good man could cook. Dirk didn't cook. He did not Sometimes cook. you got to look. Yeah. He started cooking. Got to give them their chance. They might just, look, let them just watch us. <laughs> you might get he inspired. Did not cook. He you did not wash clothes. He did not clean. He started doing those things. I made sure he could relax and rest when he came home from work every day. Then I started working and he decided he wanted to make sure I could come home to a nice meal every day. Absolutely. Oh, well, that's pretty. I was just pickling too, but I was like, you know what? A little freshness to it. I'm just trying to hurry it up because I normally should have it dry, but I don't want to do that. What? You want me to ask mom for a phone? She might be asleep, though. Yeah, she knows she's going to try to get close to the thing and I can do a screenshot. Okay, we can try. We can try. Put some stuff away. Can somebody take a screenshot if he holds his bowl up? Hold the bowl up. That's a $15 plate, Joe says it. I guess I'll move this stuff out the way a little bit. So let's. He has made those biscuits also. Yeah, he's made the um the biscuits from Red Lobster before. Yeah, I made the biscuits from Red Lobster. And they were good. We got a good sweet potato biscuit recipe too that you can uh, have from our website. I got a lot of yeah, we, we share a lot of good recipes. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can get my little friends down here. You wanna take it off? Alright, so this is my little friends on IG for that one. And then my little friends on IG for this one also. Facebook. Oh, Facebook. And then my little friends on Facebook for this guy right here. And my little friends on IG for this guy right here. Alright? So. I'm gonna turn this over to the lovely, lovely. How are you putting this down? Am I putting that put on your foot? Yes. Oh look, I forgot. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, YouTube. There you go, YouTube. There you go. Okay. You got two extra. You got one extra each. Mm -hmm. All right, baby. And I will be eating it. You need a um. You just don't care about Facebook. No, I'm trying to move them so they can sit. Here we go. You get you get into it. Go ahead. Come over here and eat together. And say your grace, girl. Send me your grace. Let me start a picture for the school that we're about to eat. Put it next to my body. Ooh, hot. Mm. Very spicy. Yeah, I made it spicy on my purpose. Ooh, the whole plate. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Sweet. Meaty. 
getting into this crispy rice. Mm. Mm hmm. Got a little mm. crisp in this too, too. But yeah, better better to use a a, a, a sushi wrap. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit, it takes a little bit of the marinade. Mm -hmm. Rice and wine, mm. not bad. Mm -hmm. You got a nice one for it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, everything. And the bite. Come on. Listen to that. Listen to that rice. Come on. See that rice? Good, good thing to do with leftover rice, I guess. Oh, it's good. It's really crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Vinegar, sweet. The heap. I ain't mad at it. <coughs> Got that red on the plate? Excuse me. Mmm. That looks like sneaking up on you. Oh God, good. Mm. What y'all saying? What my little friend saying over here? I know I got. Just, let me get. Make sure on my YouTube they're all right. So, super simple recipe. Another, but just just said stop calling me little friend. Another little thing you guys can do for Valentine's for Love Day. Love Day is coming up. Super simple. Couple of ingredients, um, not a lot of um, you know chef skills you have to have. Very simple to do. Um, Kim said, "Let's have a cooking with greens after party." Maybe Kim, we might. Well, super super simple. Um, I see you guys like it. They say it looks yummy. Good. Looks delicious. The scallops are perfect. Five star. I saw a couple of people on, on YouTube saying some stuff here. What are we saying? What are we saying? Make sure you hit the like button. That's right, Latisse. Make sure you guys hit the like and the follow button on all things. Thank you guys for 1,400 stars on, okay. on uh, Facebook. I don't know if there's any gifts on IG. Oh, you still got rice so in the freezer. Well, I still have some rice in the freezer that I only messing with. See all the liquid in that plate is released from the, um, from the scallops. scallops. They're, they're made to be eaten right away. Uh, they're made to be eaten right away. Yep. That's another reason why I do not, um, I don't salt them beforehand. Because I want, the, I don't want them to be rubbery when I cook them. Mm hmm And I'd rather the liquid kind of pull off on after I put the salt in it, after I cook them. So, anyhow, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you all for being here. Um, like we always say, from our heart to your plate, mm -hmm. we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Thank you for your orders. Thank you for watching. Do I have a recipe for fried oysters? I do not, but um, Latisse will look. Latisse is on it. He's got a post one for you on the page. Go, I don't have a, a recipe for uh, fried Ooh, oysters, red pepper but I have a recipe for fried shrimp, and you can pretty much use the same method for oysters. Oysters cook a lot like shrimp. They cook very quickly, um, so you could just look up my fried shrimp recipe. And you should be good to go. All be. right. Um, yes, nothing like a. Uh, thank you, Kim, for your stars also. Um, good night, everyone. Thank you all for hanging in there. Mm -hmm. And we will see you again tomorrow. We love you. Love and you have a great evening. Bye bye. Movie in the morning. Movie o'clock.